Okay, there is only one thing I love more than whipped cream and that is my stabilized whipped cream frosting. It is so, so delicious, pipes beautifully and stays stable for days. So to start off, grab yourself a cold bowl. So just pop it into the fridge for about 15 minutes before you're going to use it and add in half a cup of icing sugar, also known as powdered sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla and my stabilizing ingredient to one cup of cold mascarpone. I could literally eat a whole packet of mascarpone on its own and then using a handle stand mixer with cold beaters so again just pop them into the fridge for about 15 minutes before you're going to use them mix on a low speed for about 10 seconds and then turn up the speed to a medium high and mix until well combined which should take about kind of 30 seconds or so if you're using a stand mixer then you want to make sure that you're using the whisk attachment okay once that's nicely combined add in one and a half cups of cold whipping cream and mix on a low speed for about 10 seconds to allow everything to combine without you know the cream splattering everywhere <laughs> and then turn up the speed to a medium high and whip until you reach stiff peaks keep a careful eye on the mixture as you don't want to over whip the cream it does come together relatively quickly and that is literally it. Your stabilized whipped cream frosting is ready to use. It is so, so smooth, pipes beautifully, and is great for decorating cakes. One thing to keep in mind though is that because it is a whipped cream, once it sets, it's kind of hard to get that really nice smooth texture again. So you wanna, you know, use it straight away, do whatever piping and things you need to do, and then just leave it. It'll be good to stay at room temperature for a few hours and then just pop it into the fridge so that, you know, it doesn't go bad. If you try out this recipe, don't forget to leave a review on my blog. It really helps my content reach more people and I love hearing from you guys. I'll see you in the next video.